Hi there, welcome back to Blogmas Day 8. If you're new here, then welcome. My name is Belen and I am a first time mom to a baby girl named Micaela and she is now a year and a half old. And we would love for you to subscribe to our channel. So go ahead and click on that red button and on the notification bell so you get notified whenever we upload a new video. Now, if you have been following me throughout Blogmas 2020, you know that I already bought a tree from Walmart. That was the first tree that I got. It was a flag tree and it had that snowy look. But when I took it out of the box and tried to assemble it, it was so messy. That fake snow was all over my floor and my daughter was trying to pick it up and put it in her mouth. So that was not gonna work for us. So I just put it back in the box and returned it. And I got this one. And this was exactly the same price. The Walmart one was $30. And this one I got from Target and it was $30 as well. But the only thing is that it's not a flock tree, but it does come with lights. So that's great. It The price originally was $60, but I was able to get it 50% off. Uh, they had a sale going on, so I only paid $30, and it is a 6-foot tree. So that's perfect. I absolutely love it, and uh, it was so simple to put together, and it is not messy. So maybe in the future, once Michaela is all grown up, I can try the flock tree again because I absolutely love the look of it. But it was not going to work for us right now. Michaela is way too small and she puts everything in her mouth. So I needed a more clean look right now. And maybe in the future I will even try a natural pine tree. But this time around uh, we were not going to be at home for most of December. So there was no point on getting a natural tree. It was just gonna die we were not gonna be there to water it every day and uh, we weren't gonna get to enjoy it really so uh, i decided just to get an affordable artificial tree and we'll just go with that this year and we'll see what happens in the future christmases and let me know down in the comment section what do you guys usually use an artificial christmas tree or do you buy a natural pine tree every year um i've never had a natural one i mean i think it looks beautiful and it probably smells amazing inside your house uh, and i would love to give it a try at one point but um let me know and also how do you take care of it do you have to water it every day or you just put water like once a week um let me know i don't know uh, i would like to learn how to do that and uh, maybe try it in the near future So if you watch my holiday shopping haul, you know I got a pack of lights for my previous tree for the flock one from Walmart. But I ended up keeping the lights because I just love them. It's one of those that has different functions. So I decided to add a little bit extra light to this tree that already has lights, but uh, it's gonna give it a little touch because um, I'll have these lights going on and off all the time instead of the ones that came with the tree that are just on at all times. So I think it's gonna look nice and it's just gonna add a little touch to the tree. All right, now on to the ornaments. I just got a pack of, I think it was 40, 40 or 50 ornaments from Walmart for like 10 bucks. And I'm just gonna use that. And they are white and gold and they're all different patterns and shapes, which I love. And I also wanted to get a ribbon to put around the tree and also a tree skirt. But to be honest with you, with Michaela, anything I would do to the tree, she's just gonna try to pull it down or off the tree. So I think I'm just gonna leave it plain this year and just some ornaments and uh, no skirts because I know she's just gonna play with it and try to take it off. 
and it's just gonna give me more work <laughs> to try to put it together every single day at the end of the day when she goes to sleep so no i'm not trying to build a tree every single day again and again so for right now this is just what it's going to be and as you can see this is already challenging to try to put the ornaments because every two ornaments that i put on the tree michaela takes off one so yeah we're just moving forward very slowly but we'll we'll finish this at some point today All right, now moving on to some DIYs. So I got this wreath from Walmart and I think I paid around $12 for it. And it is half natural, half uh, artificial. And when I bought it, I knew I wanted to add a touch of red. So I looked for this decorative picks at Walmart and they were 99 cents. So I got two of them and i'm just gonna blend it in between the wreath and i think i may buy a third one just to make it kind of even but i really like the look of it and how it turned out and then i also did a napkin holder diy out of two bear stands that i got from uh, the dollar spot at target so it was a dollar each and i just put some crazy glue in between them and turned it into a napkin holder all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and i will see you again tomorrow bye